people new to the business have. So why don't, why don't we talk about those things? So here's the first question she has. Uh, like others, like most of the others in this group, I choose to work in a few popular, popular counties in Arizona. I'm a newbie and realizing now that the pros, I don't know who the pros are, Mark Podolsky maybe, or yep. some of the others, um, have already sunk their teeth in and a lot of wholesale is going on in these counties. Is there a chance for someone like me with a maximum of one or two properties that I may acquire in the future? Anyway, what she's getting at is, uh, is there a chance for, is there enough meat on the bone for her to work in a county where there are pros working, there are a lot of people working, a lot of people are doing wholesale, um, and are there just gonna be enough deals? Should she switch gears to a less saturated market and then come back where the big players are? Uh, and she wants to, she wants some advice. Oh, oh, Mike Zeno, what are your thoughts? Mike Zeno. That's right. Um, so my thoughts, it, it kind of, I think about the mailing side of things as well. It's like, all right, a lot of people are mailing this county. Should I even mail this county? Like, am I even going to get a deal? Right. So I think it's sort of a similar thought pattern. Right. There's a lot of activity there. Um, sounds like she may have a couple of deals, but uh, I, I do think that that does relate. You know, this is something where timing is, uh, you know, it's just the biggest thing about the mailing is the timing. When it arrives on someone's doorstep, what's going on in their life. So that's why we always say all of us could mail and uh, we could all buy property from different people uh, at the same time. You know, it's just. So I think the same thing on the marketing side is, is she she gets the ad out, someone sees the ad, and uh, somebody is going to buy the property. It's just like you know you got people at a parade walking around with all those balloons and those carriages, right? And it's like you know they go up and down, up and down, and, and you may have seen that carriage go in front of you five or six times, but this one time it goes in front of you, right? And uh, you decide you're going to buy a pretzel, or you decide you're going to buy a balloon. It's just the timing of it. So how do you know when your ad is going to uh, you know, be in front of the right person at the right time? It's just as uh, likely that yours will as will some of the quote-unquote pros. So I, I think it's all about timing. I think it's all about persistence. And I think it's an equal opportunity. Uh, if you're going to come to this business and overthink that, you could overthink yourself right out of it. And you wouldn't want to do that. It's a great opportunity here. Agreed. Agreed. Matt Forbes, what are your thoughts? First thoughts when you hear those questions. Um, the safety in numbers, if yes. the, the big dogs, I'm not one of them, but if the big dogs are in those counties, I would be in those counties. It means those counties work. work. It's the proof that they definitely work. Is it a little harder to get a deal? plausibly that it could be harder there than in an untapped county where you may have zero chance of selling it. So, uh, yeah, like I want to call, I want to mail in Arizona and Colorado and Florida and all these other places for sure. The reality is there's tens of thousands of parcels, tens of thousands. And yeah, like a lot more mail going out. That's, that's okay. It's not a big deal, right? Cause the, the safety of being able to sell it, far outweighs the notion of I'm going to go find a new county. And one thing I have done is I've, you know, I'm, I'm entrenched in the counties I'm in and I'm, you know, looking for new counties and new counties are hard. They're a total pain in the ass because I don't know if I can sell the stuff. So now I'm infinitely more cautious and it's a whole other thing. If I'm starting out, if I'm new in this business, for sure, I'm sticking where, you know, I see everybody else because there's safety there and that trumps everything else. Yeah, exactly. It's uh, follow the breadcrumbs, right? Yeah, for sure. Follow the I breadcrumbs. Mean, I, you know, Go ahead. Bosman convinced me to get a corporate credit card for my business after talking <laughs> with him, right? Come on. A couple months ago? No, no. It was like such sound advice. <laughs> I have a million dollar company. I should maybe have a corporate credit card. I don't know. Everything's just cash. We just pay for stuff. We don't go into debt to pay for stuff. And I'm like, wow, okay, like Bosman's right. Like, I guess I should look. And you know what happened in the next three, four days? I got like two or three offers in the mail. I had never gotten those offers before, ever. Or had I? Had I just been throwing them out day after day after day? They just hit at the right time. And now I have like a crap load of Marriott points. And I'm getting a bunch of Southwest points. 
because they hit right when I needed them to hit. How many more offers did they send me in the last two years since I started? Or three years? I don't know, probably more than zero, right? So it's just dumb luck when you hit, but that's why you mail at scale, right? So the scale makes up for it. It's really interesting when you think about it. I mean, someone's sitting there right now, um, just like you were, like, hey, you know what? Maybe I'll get a credit card or maybe, you know what? I'd like to buy a property in Arizona. And as they're, you know, thinking about it all day, that night, they're getting, sitting down in front of their phone or their computer, they're pulling it up. And at that very moment, you're posting your ad and boom, boom, it's like the universe comes together in a flash and they contact you. I mean, that's, isn't that, but that's just one example of timing. It's just timing. Oh, like yeah. you said, man, you weren't, were they coming before? Probably. Were you not paying attention? Most likely. And were they getting thrown in the trash? Most definitely. But the moment you wanted, it's like when you buy a car, and all of a sudden you see that same car everywhere. It's like, I never knew everybody drove all these cars. Well, they're all yeah. those. You just weren't it's paying attention to them. It's all mindset, man. You you know, you see your brain is attracted to what you're thinking about. So as soon as I'm thinking about credit cards for the business, like, wow, Marriott, you're so yeah. smart. I mean, I'm already a big Marriott guy from my corporate life. So I know for a fact that they've, they've sent me a mailer probably once a week for the last five years or at least three years since I started this business. I mean, realistically, right? right. I'll, I'll pay attention from now on and see how many offers I got. I got one in the mail today. And I was like, ha, 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 you missed out. But, yeah. Yeah. Whatever. Well, the, the reality, too, is, and we've talked about this before, there's somebody, uh, I don't know, XYZ County, say Apache, maybe she's talking, she's saying Apache? Or did she say the county? No, well, she just said uh... Apache County, Arizona. Someone five years ago started, and they've made hundreds of thousands of dollars there. Someone yeah. starting today, they're going to make hundreds of thousands of dollars. Someone in five years is going to start and make hundreds of thousands of dollars. So, What's our excuse? We shouldn't have them. It's either, the only ex excuse, I mean, there is no good excuse. The only reason why we wouldn't succeed is because we just don't um, pursue it and we don't stay consistent. And we do what yes. Matt Phillips says never to do, we quit. Yeah, just don't quit. <laughs> All I have to do is not quit. So simple, so hard. Just don't quit. How did I run 13 and a half miles to, to do two separate half marathons at 340 pounds? I just didn't quit. I almost died. Both times, Oof. for sure. I had people who crossed the finish line, then ran back to get me. And I didn't even know these people. That's how bad it was. And they're like, honestly, I'm walking backwards faster than you're running. And I'm like, shut your pie hole. I'm dying. Look at me. I'm literally, I'm dying. And they rode me across the finish line. It's that bad. But you just don't quit. You just